Hi, my name is Jeff and I'm on the Events Calendar team. And today, I want to show you how you can install and activate the Events Calendar on your own WordPress. Now, I got here by going to, you know, mysite.com slash wpadmin and logged in. And now I'm greeted with the, you know, with the WordPress dashboard where we can do anything we need to and get around our site to manage content. So first, I'm going to head over to Plugins, Installed Plugins. And you'll see right, in, right here, we have no plugins installed on this site. This is just a out of the box WordPress site, brand new, nothing installed in there. So we're gonna try adding the events calendar in here as our very first plugin. Now, there are a couple ways to do this. The first way is to click this add new button at the very top of the plugin screen. And again, I got here by going to plugins, installed plugins. I could have also just clicked on add new and that would have taken me to this screen, which is really the same thing as coming back here and clicking add new takes us to the same place. So I'm gonna go ahead and search for the events calendar. And if all things go well, yeah, there it is. It shows up number one. So what we're gonna do is click install because what we're doing right now is installing the events calendar directly from the WordPress admin. So this is kind of like having the WordPress plugin directory right in our WordPress site. So when I click install, it's going to take just a second. It's going to spin right here to let us know that it's working. And what's happening is uh, WordPress is taking all of the plugin files and uploading them to your server in a special directory there so that the plugin is available for WordPress to use. So we'll give it just a second to finish doing what it's doing. And there it goes. Now, once it's downloaded, we'll get this handy little activate button. We can go ahead and click that. And WordPress, kind of like magic, is going to take us right back to the plugin screen that where we started. And now we can see the events calendar is installed. And it's actually active because we have this deactivate option on here, which means it's telling us it is activated. So that is the first way that we can install the events calendar to a WordPress site, just by going through the plugin screen in the WordPress admin.